My name is Mitch Brown. I'm going to present leadership as one of the most important qualities of character. I'm going to start with the definition of leadership. Leadership is defined in the dictionary as the action of leading a group of, a group of people or an organization. I want to submit that leadership is so much more than this. I believe that there's more to being a leader um, than just leading or standing in front of a bunch of people or being the face of an organization. So I'm going to present what I believe to be the three most um, important qualities that a leader needs. The leadership quotient, the leadership attitude, and leadership in coaching. First, the leadership quotient. A uh, quotient is a degree or amount of specified quality or characteristics. There are three qualities that a leader or a coach must have. And I believe that uh, this leader or coach needs to have these to be an effective leader. First is the IQ. This is their intelligence quotient or their intellectual quotient. Um, this is a nice way of saying, um, are you smart? Or, um, you know, what's your background? Do you have the education to be, uh, to be teaching or coaching or leading um, where, where you're at? So, um, IQ, you know, can you handle and manage the situations based on your intelligent level? Second is the EQ, this is your emotional quotient. Um, do you have the emotional maturity to handle the highs and the lows of success and failure? Um, when things get crazy, can you handle stress? When you become under pressure, can you handle that? Um, when there's a crisis, um, can you stay calm and cool? There's nothing scarier than a panic leader. This is why when we're in the airplane and the pilot comes on, he says, you know, please fasten your seatbelts, we're going to experience a little bit of turbulence. Not, you know, buckle up, we're headed for a dark cloud and we don't know what's going to happen. So, um, next we have the AQ, which is your adaptability quotient. I believe this is one of the most important qualities that a coach and leader can have, especially if they uh, coach or lead in a high school. Simply, are you adaptable, and how do you handle change? Um, I want to talk a little bit more about the um, adaptability quotient. Uh, the others are, are important, but this is where I believe um, the heart of coaching lives. Um, if you haven't guessed by now, I really like Legos, um, and I love I love the Lego Movie. Um, I like the way, the metaphor of, of Legos and being able to build, um, and when you're forced to build with Legos, uh, you need to adapt. And you know, pick, you gotta pick different pieces or you have to add different colors so that you can kind of build that main thing that you already had envisioned. Um, this is Vitruvius from the Lego movie. Um, he essentially is the coach. He encourages the, he encourages everyone to kind of empty their mind and um, empty their mind and be free so that they be, can become master builders. Um, this character is actually built off of a, um, a, real, a, a real person, um, Marcus Vitruvius Polius. He's a architect and an engineer in Rome um, in the first century BC. Um, he's also credited for writing the 10 books of architecture. So as a leader, can you adapt to success and can you adapt to failure? Unfortunately, there is really no test for this until you're thrown into it. And that is when you find out. So do you have the adaptability to transition between success and failure? Um, one of the most important things for um, being adaptable is sustainability. <clears throat> As a coach, um, are, can you stand during the hard times? Can you stand during the good times? And um, as, you know, as a follower, there's nothing more comforting than a leader that is committed. You know, um, 
this, as everything's going on and you have your you know, emotions riding over here and trying to be adaptable over here, um, being able to stand is, is one of the most important things. Um, and as a leader, that should be one of the only things that kind of stays still, is you as the leader. So, um, a leader's attitude. Attitude is, is a little thing, but it makes a huge difference. As Jesus said, um, love the Lord your God with all your hearts, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is one of the first and greatest commandments. Um, I take this to mean that you can only love others to the degree that you love yourself. So I want to ask the question, are you pursuing God with everything that you have? Because um, as Dr. Monroe would say, um, Dr. Miles Monroe, he is a preacher and author and kind of a, a motivational speaker on, on leadership. He wrote a book called The Spirit, uh, the Spirit of Leadership, and this is one of my favorite quotes from his book. True leadership is not a method, technique, or a science, but an attitude. If you don't have the right attitude about yourself, uh, then you will not have a great attitude towards others. You have to be comfortable with who you are in order to lead efficiently. What you think about yourself is more important than what you do. So um, people are willing to invest the time, um, people are willing to invest the time and have, people are willing to invest time in you if you have the right attitude. Um, this is Emmett, um, he's a, gr a great example of someone who's willing to invest the time and what it takes to move from follower to master builder. Uh, he lives his life uh, just by reading the instructions and finally uh, when he kind of lets go, he, becomes, he becomes a master builder. Our job as a leader and a coach is to help other athletes find their master builder potential. So leading as it applies to coaching, um, when we see leadership on a team, uh, from our book, The Teaching Character Through Sport by Bruce Brown, he has a great, a great quote saying, athletes want a model, not a motto. Um, and in, in Titus says, in everything, in everything, set them an example by doing what is good, and in your teaching, show integrity simply saying that practice what you preach and put it on display for others to see. Um, and simply, actions speak louder than words. So as coaches, we know that we have a great responsibility of people watching us um, as, as we go, as, as we coach and go through, go through our own life. Lastly, I wanted to talk about the uh, criticism. I think as a coach, um, we do a lot of criticism and we get a lot of criticism. Uh, the root word of criticism is critique. Um, we offer this to make others better. Um, and when we give critique or when we coach our athletes, when we actually talk to them and coach them, it makes them feel that they're noticed and they're part of the team. Um, and also, as a coach, it's our job that, you know, we we have that obligation to say those uncomfortable things sometimes that need to be said to, to our athletes. On the flip side um, of criticism, this is what we get as coaches, and this is what I wish that some, someone had told me um, when I started coaching that you know, I would have to be able to adapt to this or you know, check my emotional quotient when I got criticism. Um, Leaders draw attention. So, um, <laughs> in that, you know when you draw attention, um, you are being noticed. So, can you live with criticism? Um, can you manage criticism? Um, and we know that by measuring our IQ, our EQ, and our AQ. So again, sustainability, can you stand for something? Um, and can you stand when the times are good? Can you stand when times are bad? And I want to submit to you that a good leadership is only defined or found when times are, are rough and through our tough situations. So this is where they say, 
No, respect is earned, not given. Thank you.